So you want to get full body tracking, but you're on a budget. The obvious solution would be to fire up your old Kinect and follow a tutorial on how to set it up to work in VR. Because that seems to work great, right? I know Sarah, Sarah, but... <laughs> Can you hear me? Cool, what is happening? Right Today I will be showing you a vastly more accurate way to achieve full body tracking, and it will cost you even less. To do this we will need a PlayStation Eye camera, a printer, an old pair of shoes or some cardboard boxes, and some software called Driver for VR. The Eye is a digital camera similar to a webcam, which was originally designed to work with the PlayStation 3, but you can connect it to your PC as well, which is what we will be doing. You can find these for around 10 bucks on the web. We're going to glue some images similar to QR codes onto five sides of either old shoes or cardboard boxes. The PlayStation Eye will then track these images using Driver for VR and turn them into 3D trackers for your feet. Step 1 is to print out the camera markers. You can find a link for the PDF of these in the description. The larger you print them, the more consistent tracking will be. But keep in mind that you still have to wear them, so you don't want them to be too large. After this is done, you can cut out the markers and glue them to the sides of the shoe or cardboard box. But pay close attention, each tracker will have some text at the bottom, indicating whether it's a key marker or a secondary marker, and what number it is. The numbers 0 to 5 are for your left foot, and the numbers 6 to 10 are for your right. You should have two key markers, one for each foot. These are the most important because without them you won't be able to calibrate. Your trackers and tracking will not work without them. Normally you would place these at the front, but in order to calibrate a secondary marker it needs to be visible at the same time as the key marker. So I put mine at the bottom because this allows me to also put a tracker on the back that the eye won't lose tracking if you turn around. Next up is to plug in the PSI and find a nice spot to place it where it has a clear view of your feet. It should be about 45 centimeters high for the best results. Notice that the foot of the eye is angled. You want to try and get the camera as level as possible. Go on and download the driver for the PlayStation Eye. There's different kinds, but this is the one I use, and it works pretty well. Next is the driver for VR software. This software costs 15 bucks, but there is a free trial available. Okay, now it's time to set it all up. Open up Steam VR and click on driver for VR. Under the settings tab, select head tracking off. I have my own head tracking, hand tracking off, and body tracking to camera markers. Click on start. You should see these four trackers appearing in Steam VR. When initialized, click on camera marker settings. You can see that the PSI is already detecting our markers but in order for it to know which tracker is where in relation to each other, we will need to calibrate them. We do this by slightly tilting the box or shoe so that the key marker on the bottom is visible together with the secondary marker you wish to calibrate. Wait until the calibration is complete and repeat this for every tracker. We want to do the same thing for the other shoe or box until every marker is calibrated. You can now close out of marker settings and put on your newly crafted Gucci slides. Now, uh, this is where it gets a bit frustrating. Because this software is still in alpha, automatic calibration is not working yet. This means we will have to do it by hand, which wouldn't be that big of a problem if the controls didn't suck so much. You want to match the position of the white camera as closely as you can to the position of the PSI. Pressing the trigger will make the joystick control the rotation and height of the camera and pressing the grip button will allow you to move the position using the joystick. This in itself is fine, but the problem is the joystick sensitivity is extremely high and the camera moves at about 1 FPS. So if you push the joystick just a little tiny bit too far, the camera will just yeet itself 10 light years away from your play space. 
this makes fine adjustment extremely difficult, but try to match it as close as possible. If the camera's position is calibrated correctly, but your feet movement seems scaled up or your feet are still on the floor, you might need to change the marker size. To do this, open up the camera marker settings and move over to the marker size window. The sweet spot for me was about um, 11 centimeters, but try a few different values and see what works for you. Alright, once you've set this up correctly and the trackers are accurately following your moves, all that's left to do is to fire up VRChat or another full body compatible application and test it out. Keep in mind that it's important to have good lighting in order to minimize motion blur and maximize tracking quality. So, if you've got a bright light, turn it on now, as it's sure to help. For those who aren't familiar with the full body calibration system VRChat uses, all you have to do is move the white ping pong ball looking bulbs that represent your trackers into the corresponding feet and hips of a character of your choosing. You might need to change your height a bit for the optimal experience. When you're ready, press the triggers and that's it! Your feet are now being tracked in VRChat. I prefer to do calibration in front of a mirror as it allows me to see the trackers more clearly. Well, uh, that's it! Thank you for watching and let me know how it goes if you try out this technique. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Until next time!